Today, we are tackling a construction technology that promises to build structures that are, get this, greener, faster, stronger, and more affordable. Sounds like the holy grail of building. Right. It's called binichelles. What are binichelles? How on earth do you inflate a building? Uh -huh. Why does this technology matter right now, given, well, everything facing the world? And where might we see this popping up next? And right from the start, what's fascinating here is that this isn't some concept dreamed up just yesterday. No, it has history. Example of how an idea from the past, rooted in, like, basic physics, can be revitalized to address really urgent modern problems. Like housing shortages. Housing <laughs> shortages, climate change, yeah, all of that. They describe it as a construction system. The result is these thin shell concrete dome structures. Okay, domes, concrete. Yeah, right, but the core innovation, the how it works, is the use of pneumatic formwork, essentially an inflatable shape they call a pneumoform. Pneumoform, like a balloon mold. Sort of, yeah. Yeah. And crucially, they use very low air pressure to sculpt the building's shape. The goal of achieving more with less. Mm -hmm. It was about efficiency. Minimizing material use while maximizing structural performance. That pursuit of thinness in the material is really a defining characteristic, using geometry for strength, not just mass. It seems designed to bypass some of the complexities and, frankly, supply chain issues of traditional building methods. They connect this technology directly to what they frame as the triple challenge facing the world today in construction. The triple challenge. Right. You mentioned that. Yeah. Reducing environmental impact, improving structural performance, and lowering costs. The big three. But they add a crucial layer. Any solution needs to be scalable, practical, and applicable internationally, not just a boutique solution. And the scale of the problems these Binichels aim to address is, well, it's immense. Buildings are identified as the single biggest global polluter. Yep, that's a common stat now. On top of that, there's this truly urgent, massive global demand for housing. Urbanization is happening at breakneck speed. The numbers are crazy. And one in four people globally are homeless or living in substandard housing. Mm -hmm. Plus, disasters displace 27 million people every year. Yeah. They project that by 2030, three billion people will need new housing. Three billion. It's, yeah. it's not just about numbers. It's a profound human crisis with massive social and health implications. Absolutely. And meeting that demand using conventional methods with their material intensity and environmental footprint. That would be catastrophic.